congrats on the win. That was a fine performance from you today. Thank you so much. Is that how you felt it would go down, or did you surprise yourself even a little bit? I tell you what, that's how I always wanted to go down. So I always uh, visualize it going down, but I always surprise myself afterwards. Yeah, I mean, he came in with some momentum behind him. Cage Warriors <coughs> champion, the only guy to defend that belt three times. Uh, what did you just think of the matchup when they came to you with it? You know, I thought it was a good fight, but the, like, like I said, I was once a four to one underdog myself, and so I didn't underestimate him. <laughs> It's a big fight for me. It was the fourth fight of my contract, mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, wanted to want to finish it <coughs> in, in solid fashion. So uh, I, I enjoy fighting this company, and I'm excited to uh, stick around for some time now. Was yeah. that a calculated? Sorry, was that a calculated decision as far as <coughs> you going into this? Had there been an offer to renew your deal prior? Or? No, no, not at this point, and uh, I'm fine with that, man. I've dealt with way worse adversity in my you know fourth fight of a contract, or to have the option to fight for with the best organization in the world. You know, it's a great opportunity. So to even have that opportunity to be in the fourth fight of my contract, I was happy about. <coughs> but uh, definitely excited to get the finish now and show my worth, almost my value, and you know, hope they want to keep me sticking around. And the motivation clearly worked. That was your first. Uh First round finish since I think about 2009. You're telling me, man. Yeah, well, like I said, we don't get paid by the minute, so I was happy to get in, get, in, get out. And even in that first round, you know, we take some pretty good damage. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, like I said, hats off to Chris Fishcole. I think he'll bounce back strong. But uh, tonight was my night, and I wasn't going to have, have to get taken from me. So what do you think happens from here? Did Sean didn't sign you to a new deal since you've been out of the cage, I'm assuming. But, uh, <laughs> you know, what's the timeline in your mind? Timeline for me is uh, <clears throat> right now I'm excited about my teammate Rob Font, my, my number one training partner. Shout out to him, really helping me get ready for this fight. Um, kids, a, a, kids a talent. He's fighting uh, Sergio Pettis in Milwaukee, so I'll be there for him. Bounce me back. He, he keeps me in the gym when I don't have a fight, and <clears throat> he's always in the gym. So <laughs> uh, it works out good, man. Right now I'm just excited for him, and then uh, we'll listen to my management, tell me what they got next lined up for me. For me. But I feel good. I'm ready to go. Yeah, like, <clears throat> are you – Almost 100% sure you stay in the UFC, or is there something like if they don't give you? <laughs> oh, you all feel these guys, worth, these guys that... jumping around and things in the sure. organizations right now. Uh, I'm happy with my first three. Uh, I hope they sign me to three, four more. You know, shit, people getting eight fight contracts now. Um, I, like I said, I'm very happy where I am right now, and uh, and but like I said, I roll with everything. Um, <clears throat> whatever happens, happens. So if they don't give you what you feel you're worth, you know, you are willing to maybe do something else. Well, I mean, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Right now, I'm very happy. I came off a solid performance, and uh, you know, I, I think I think they're happy with my performance. I hope so, and uh, that's the way I'm visualizing as of right now. Were you surprised how hot, and heavy Chris Fishbowl came in there on the feet? I tell you the truth, no. My great corners coaches, and they they have me prepared for that. And if he didn't, then so be it. It's kind of easier to prepare for maybe a lackluster first round. But they had me kind of focused on him coming in like that, and for good reason. Uh, I had some uh, assumptions myself. You see some of his tape. He comes out. He's a strong, tough kid, and, and poses his will quick. Uh, we weathered the storm and, and got the finish just like we wrote it up. Back in the win column, I mean, depending on how the contract situations go, do you have anybody in mind who you want to fight? Obviously, you want to move up further. I consider myself, you know, uh, one of the top in the division. Uh, you know, right now I just came off a top 15 ranking. I like to get put back there and then uh, fight someone else in the top 15. You know, show I belong there. How's the bird doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. man, you didn't. It uh, left me the next morning, unfortunately. I had it with me. Uh, thing wouldn't leave me alone. I was going to train with Rob and, uh, and Tyson. I trained the conditioning. All of a sudden, thing wouldn't leave me alone. Flew on my car. I'm like, this thing's crazy. It won't, won't leave me alone. I felt like I, I had to. You know what I mean? I couldn't get like food or something. I was feeding it. All of a sudden, it jumps on my arm. And I was like, all right, it's coming with me for the day now. And I just called out a strength and conditioning. I kicked it with the bird for the day. What's it like to be kind of the stem of like a viral moment like that? Oh, my God. Especially what happens organically. Right. You know, that was the craziest part. And then a bird out of nowhere. You can't write that shit up. <clears throat> Did but, you notice a lot more people giving you attention and stuff? Oh like my that? god, yeah, instantly. I, it, was, uh, on my, it was on my table and then all of a sudden it flew on my lap and I had got people from inside. I was eating outside. It was a nice day in New England, believe it or not. And uh, people are staring from uh, inside the restaurant at me and the bird and they're recording it. I'm like, like you guys seen this shit? And uh, like I said, I go to my car. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go train. Like, I can't kick with a bird all day at Panera. So I get to my car and it flies on the hood of my car. I'm like, I'm gonna put my arm on it. It flies on my arm, I'm taking it with me. If not, i am got to get the hell out of here. Flew on my arm, I took it to training, and I, I don't know what the more humane thing is. Like, I, I, I maybe saved a bird, but I, I killed about two dozen worms in the process, so, you know, feeding the thing. But, yeah, wild experience, but 
I, I since gave the bird back, returned the cage, thankfully, because I had to fly out for Rob's uh, fight in a week in Vegas, and I couldn't handle the bird dad life at that point. <laughs> think you'll ever see him again? Crazy story. I think I saw it two weeks later, and I didn't. Put, I, didn't I was like, you're not pulling over right now. And I just kept driving. You know, you can't mess with nature too much. And I tell you, when I bought the bird, when I, when I, when I, buy it, when I uh, picked it up, I, I bought it a cage, the biggest cage they had in there, I bought it a toy, and then I left the cage outside my house with the door open because I go, once you record uh, something on social media or go live, I'm going to have all these animal humanitarians yelling at me that I caged a wild bird, and I kept it, for, like, I, right. I bird, ca bird napped it. So I left the door open, I left it outside, and I'm like, shit, if it leaves, it leaves, if it stays, it stays. And it left at like 6 a.m. the next morning before I had a tea time. <clears throat> as far as uh, fighting outside the U.S. is your first uh, international fight, so to speak. You're not that far from home, but is that something you'd want to do more of? I mean, not really. <laughs> I'd like to fight in Vegas first. There's always been my mother's dream to see me fight in Vegas. Um, I don't know if she just wants a trip to Vegas or just see me fight there, but I very much enjoy going on the West Coast, fight early, get done. You can get a massage, grab dinner, and then go out for the night, and then it doesn't shut down. You know, Vegas would be definitely a dream of mine to fight in Vegas, and then Following that, I would be open to it uh, internationally because I do love to travel, and on the UFC's dime, it would be great. All right, thanks. Thanks. Thank you, guys.